Assalamualaikum, hello, bonjour, you know the drill. Okay, so I've gotten a lot of shtick for people, or from people rather, who um, want to believe that you can make the first move, you can initiate, you can chase, we're empowered women, we're independent women, and we can make things happen. So why sit around when you can make the first move and you can call out what you want, from who you want, when you want, how you want, and all that jazz. Okay, so I did make a video previously about why a woman should not be the initiator because it's the natural order of things and it's human nature, it's even animal nature, it's in the animal kingdom, it is something natural. So basic biological nature of life and rule of the world is that women receive and men deliver. See what I'm saying? But you have women out there who do want to make the first move. Now, some might say, well, so-and-so, let's just say a woman's name, I don't know, some random name, Shanaz. Shanaz made the first move with her husband, and voila. If, the, if she didn't, if she snoozed, she would have lo lost, she would have lost. <laughs> and um, she would not be happily married today. And by God, alhamdulillah, she is very happily married today. So why should we listen to you and say that she shouldn't? I'm going to give you some graphic examples. Now, of course, Shanaz is a fictional character. This is not referring to any Shanaz. There's millions of Shanaz, so get over that. The thing is, let's just say, because this has happened and I've seen it time and time again, and life is all about patterns and so is psychology, and that is how Freud and all the other big wigs came up with their theories. Patterns happen, and once you follow it and you've been alive long enough and you've experienced life much enough, much enough, whatever, you know what I'm saying, if you've experienced life enough at certain levels, you'll understand that there are patterns that follow in the universe, in nature, in people, in psychology, in, in every deal. And what I will find is that Shenaz is, for example, a therapist and her husband is a baker. Shenaz is um, from a higher caste in India and her husband is from a lower and a can even be a darker cast. Maybe she's white. Maybe he's very dark. Um, maybe her surname is uh, some very famous, let's just give it a Patan surname, status-wielding surname like a Rockefeller. She knows Rockefeller. You get my point, okay? Maybe she comes from a higher echelon of family whose family owns banks and who is very wealthy and who is well-known and who, who claims superiority over the other caste and over the other... Um, people from their village. So what we find is that Shinaz comes from a higher degree of whatever. Maybe a higher degree, literally a higher degree in university. Maybe a higher degree in that she comes from a better family. Maybe a higher degree in that she is fairer or light skin and that is perceived to be superior. Maybe she comes from a wealthier background, etc, etc. So to sum it up, when you go after a guy whose income level is lower than you in society, whose status, whose education level, whose uh, looks. For example, you are a nine in the looks department and he is a three. Maybe you come from parents who are, uh, you know, Ivy League um, qualified. They come from Harvard or Yale and he comes from a trailer park. Maybe you are 25 and he is 55. So there's this massive age gap. It's easy for a woman to get caught up in feeling special when she's going after a guy who is much older, less good looking, less qualified, less status given, and less awarded that kind of credibility in society. It is very easy for a woman then to initiate and get successful results. Why? Because you are looked upon as the prize and he is looked upon as being possibly even rescued. So he might want to get with you as a come up in life as a quick come up he might or even he might actually love you because he might see you as a genuine a jewel a prize so he sees you as something special and that is when initiating will work so if ladies you want someone who is lower than you in any of those departments degrees uh, and aspects and categories that i have mentioned and you're cool with that and you're okay with that and you don't mind marrying a guy who's from those um, lower classes, surnames, whatever, then if you want to initiate, you more than likely will get 
good results unless he has low self-esteem issues in which he will feel he's not worthy of you and he will run for his life and he will be afraid and you will be scratching your head and confused but hey you know what hey we, we know that it's a given deal that I am it and he is I don't want to say the other word that rhymes with it but you know that he is lesser than me in these societal aspects that society deems and regards as amazingly superior so in that regard if you um, go after them, initiating can work. The question is, are you willing to go after and sustain a lifelong relationship with someone who believes that they're inferior to you or that you are just the prize because you are the prize and there's nothing wrong with being treated like a prize if you are a bride. Hey, you know what? That's awesome. I'm all for that. Because if that's going to give you a lifelong cherishing and adoration, and love and care and you know him working towards you it could actually be a good thing the question is will you be satisfied with that for the rest of your life or will you come to a point where you now are bored and you want a challenge because you came you conquered now you want better be careful this is why celebrity women can initiate to guys who are below their league and it can work out positively because they have the upper hand with regards to their league, whatever their league is. In the case of a celebrity, it's fame and wealth. This is also why many men find it to be a challenge to initiate with a woman who is above her league or uh, on the same level as him because she's now considered to be a prize if she's above him in league or on his league. They're equal, they're compatible. He needs to really work hard at impressing her. Some guys do not want to work hard to impress anyone. They just want whatever they can get because it's easy. Some guys are really lazy. And so you need to figure out what kind of guy that you want and what kind of guy you are happy with um, maybe settling for. So think about this really deeply. Keep in mind that there are fewer couples that have a bigger disparity between them in terms of league. So, for example, it is very rare that you will find a person who is, say, a celebrity, lots of money, lots of fame, lots of uh, um, status, lots of respect, comes from a high-class family, marrying someone who is from the absolute lower rungs of society, maybe is fat, overweight, not good-looking, not successful, not qualified, not uh, wealthy, not coming from a good background, lives in a trailer park. It's, it's, now you see, the more disparities that you add in terms of league, the more difficult it will be to cross all of those frontiers to actually unite and combine those two people. So, for example, Prince Harry and Meghan, um, he's a prince, sure, but she is not a nobody. She was, she is, well, she was, she was an actress. Um, so she was already famous and she did have wealth of her own. Um, so the, the disparity wasn't too big. But for example, it's very hard to see Prince Harry marrying a village woman who scrubs clothes at the side of a river in India. Uh, you get my point. Also, what constitutes a league, league can be very subjective. For example, maybe you are in love with a guy who is overweight and treats you like a gentleman. You don't think that he's below your league because of the way he treats you and perhaps he's financially stable, etc. But your friends think that he's below your league. So the, the league thing is very subjective. Instinctively, women are hypergamous. Do look into it. Hypergamy is when a woman wants to scale up the upper echelons and higher rungs of the maybe social, maybe financial, maybe status ladder where the man is on a higher realm than she is. Maybe she's like a 10 in the looks department but he, and he's like a 7. But in every other aspect, he is better than her. Just as a, a rough example. Now, if you are attracted to a man who is in the higher echelons out of your league per se or on your league, and if you are attracted to them, do not initiate because those type of guys... Do not like women who initiate. They will think that you're cheap because they get women initiating all the time, believe it or not. They get women falling into their lap like dead flies. So do not initiate because they will think you're just another one of those desperados who are after their blood 
and they will not think anything of you. The type of women that they go after are those who they perceive to be higher echelon or on the same level. And you can make yourself, um, frame yourself to be of a higher perception. There's definitely ways to do that. And if someone perceives you to be a higher echelon, they will have more respect to you. It does not mean that they will pursue you, though, for a relationship or for marriage. Just be warned about that. You can never make someone fall in love with you or chase you for that reason. Uh, and even if they do, it may not be sincere. Maybe they're just trying to use you, so be very careful. Um, now, of course, if you are a higher echelon woman, scoring a shot with men who are below your league is going to be easier, probably more successful if they don't have really crippling low self-esteem issues and run for their lives because they're scared of you and they are scared of the pressure that you represent in them to rise to your challenge or your level. Um, those men who can't tolerate stronger women or more beautiful women or more successful women will be deterred, repelled by you. So the best thing is, again, not to initiate, but if you will, I've just laid out when it could work and if you're happy settling with someone who is from a lower whatever aspect of league we are talking about then if that makes you happy and if you believe it will work Bismillah all the best to you make to art inshallah it will work out try your best and um, make it halal ASAP never be alone okay guys thank you so much Mwah.